Hello and welcome to The Pressing Matter. My name is Peter Tanyanyua. Today we have a very important guest from the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe. And we're going to be talking about Medicines Regulatory um, Authority and more. Um, can you please introduce yourself and uh, also just tell us uh, how are you handling it in the Medicines Control um, field? All right, thank you. My name is Ashley Berenga. I am Chief Regulatory Officer in the Licensing and Enforcement Division. So at the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe, our mandate is to ensure that the public have access to safe, effective and good quality medicines. So that's our mandate. All right, great. Uh, so firstly, I just want to know, um, as far as combating illegal drugs and unregulated medicines are concerned, um, how far have you gone um, in uh, obviously putting measures so that the, consum the consumers can be safe, uh, the customers can be safe as far as um, unregulated uh, medicines are concerned? All right, thank you. So the process starts with registration of medicines. All the medicines that should be used in Zimbabwe should go through an evaluation process to make sure that they are safe, they actually work, and that they are of good quality. And then the authority also carries out routine inspections of premises that are licensed and approved. So these inspections are to ensure that they are abiding by the set standards. So this also helps to avoid um, movement of drugs, especially those of, um, that are liable to abuse from the illicit market to the illicit market. And then the authority also conducts public awareness campaigns on radio and on television to raise awareness to the public and to encourage them to buy medicines from approved premises only. So those are some of the functions that MCAZ um, carries out. All right. So um, as far as uh, let's also talk about the skin lightening creams. I know this has been a very uh, big discussion, even on social media, on social circles and stuff. Uh, we know that um, people have highlighted that they are potentially harmful uh, ingredients that are being used in these, uh, some of these uh, potentially um, skin lightening creams. So we just want to know that in as far as the distribution is concerned, uh, how is the MCAS uh, gone in also um, uh, congenizing the consumers and also um, the distribution? All right. So as MCAZ, we work with different stakeholders. So I'll start with Zimra, our port officials. We train Zimram so that they are able to identify these skin lightening creams to prevent them from entering into the country so that they are not distributed. Then we also work with the CID Drugs and Narcotics to do raids, especially for those that are being sold on the street and illegal outlets. So once the raids are done, these medicines are confiscated and eventually destroyed to prevent harm to the public. So we also do a lot of um, public campaigns and awareness through radio, television, and our social media platforms to conscientize the public on the dangers of using these skin lightening creams, as most of them are unregulated. Okay, so um, I can understand uh, when they get in the country, mm -hmm. I can see that you're really getting out of the situation, but for you now to stop them to actually get into the country in the first place, mm -hmm. um, how have you gone uh, in as far as that is concerned? All right, so that's where we have Zimra coming into place because they are present at all port officials. So they are our eyes and our ears and the trainings that we have with them help them to be able to identify all consignments that are not approved so that they are stopped at the ports of entry. We also have a memorandum of understanding that we have signed with SAPRA. SAPRA is um, the South Africa Health Products Regulatory Authority. And this is also in a bid to stop these skin lightening creams and other unregulated products from coming into the country. All right. But now um, for, for the ladies, I'm, I'm sure 
most of these uh, products are used by ladies. Uh, can you also just highlight just how harmful are uh, these um, skin lightening creams before we uh, proceed? Oh, you mean the harm that they can cause? Yeah, exactly. All right. So in some cases, they can actually damage your skin. You can have burns or you can have um, skin lesions or some of them have uh, serious allergic reactions. So because we don't know what is actually contained in the creams, we cannot assure how safe they are. That's why they are discouraged from using them. All right. Uh, now, um, can you also just highlight um, some of the steps that you have taken? Uh, now, I want to know maybe uh, you had uh, recent, um, uh, is it maybe raids or campaigns that you were doing um, that actually uh, yielded uh, positive results? Uh, then also highlight maybe challenges that you faced um, in executing your duties as a regulatory authority. Now, um, obviously, we'll be uh, maybe appealing to the authorities that be so that, you know, uh, the process can be smooth for you guys so that you can really carry out your mandate. Huh? Okay, so recently we've had, uh, I can't say they are raids exactly, but they are proactive enforcement activities where we have been working with CID drugs and narcotics in different provinces in the country. So we've had these activities in Mashingo, Manikaland, and Lawayo to date. And we have managed to refer several people for prosecution who were found selling unregistered medicines um, in illegal and unapproved markets. So the raids have been successful. And in terms of campaigns, um, public awareness, we have um, radio sessions with Star FM, with Capi Talk, and today we're here with you. So it's also part of raising awareness to the public. And then looking at the challenges that we are facing, the main one is that of uh, medicines being sold on the street illegally. And then another recent challenge because of emerging trends that we've had is the um, e-commerce sale of medicines on social media platforms, on WhatsApp, on TikTok. That's another emerging challenge in which, is, which we are trying to, to grapple with. So we find that we are also present on these social media platforms and we are monitoring the activities. And whenever we see such activities take place, we reach out to the people, we conscientize them. And in extreme cases, we take um, enforcement action against them. All right. Mm. So social media has been uh, one of your challenges, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I mean, it is a, a, an advantage to some, uh, to some extent, well, disadvantage to some extent. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so whilst we are also still on that uh, emerging trends um, uh, set, uh, can you also just uh, tell us, um, how are you also dealing with um, these emerging trends and risks of, um, I mean, we, we now know that um, almost at every corner in town, we can see that people are saying that um, come there is free scan, come there is uh, these medicines. Uh, how are you dealing with that? Are these regulated? Is this legal? All right. Um, so our public awareness campaigns have been really helpful because we have a complaint handling procedure at MCAZ. So you find that now most of the complaints we receive are actually from the public. So they will tell us there's someone selling medicines at the street, there's someone advertising vaccines or kettle medicines on this WhatsApp group. So it has really helped for us to be present on different social media platforms because now people reach out and they let us know where their problems all right on that note of people reaching out to you mm -hmm. um and also as we wrap up um can you just tell the audience how do they tell you when they are illegal drugs um unregulated medicines being sold in their streets in their neighborhoods uh so that maybe you can also alert the authorities that you work with the enforcement agencies that you also work with mm -hmm. so that the neighborhoods can be safe um, how do they reach out to you and also um, how do you carry out your enforcement um, processes? Yeah. 
All right, so MCAZ is located at 106 Baines Avenue in Harare. We also have uh, our website, it's www www.mcaz.co.zw. So if you go on our website, you'll find our contact details, email addresses that you can use, and WhatsApp number. Then we also have a um, Facebook page. We are present on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and on X. So they can use all these channels to communicate whatever um, um, grievances or complaints they want to report. Port. So the complaint handling procedure is um, such that if you want to remain anonymous, you can remain anonymous if you want to protect yourself or if you want to provide your details so that we can give you feedback, you're also free to do so. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming through to Zim Papers and I'm sure we'll have you soon again on the program where we'll talk about more developments that the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe will be making. There you have it you can reach out to the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe anytime and help keep your neighborhoods and communities safe. It has been Peter Tanyanyiwa, and for these and more conversations, please don't forget to keep logged on, like, comment, and of course, subscribe to all our Zim Papers platforms. Until next time.